All right, you guys, today I've got something pretty cool to show you. So, uh, shouts to Benskew in our Discord for pointing this out to me. Uh, it turns out this is not new, but it's been recently made aware that you can now... Uh, well, this isn't new, we already knew this, that you can now break uh, different resources at your Storm Shield, one hitting your structures, and you'll get all of the builds back. Furthermore, this also counts for traps. So if I actually track wall darts, right? nope, I don't want to craft, hit T please, thank you. You can see the wall darts down below. You can see I got 2300, 380, 2233, and you can see all the, the builds that I got for it. If I place down a full durability wall dart, or as the devs intended, any trap that you still have left over at your base, like these wall launchers, hey, these wall launchers, I didn't even know these were here. If you can see I track these, if I just break these, I will get the amount of resources back from that trap relative to the durability. So this one's 15 out of 35. I won't get too much back for it. But for uh, full health, you'll get 100% back, as you can see from this. And this is good for not one but two things. So I'll show a clip right now of the first take of this video where I was actually using traps that I had looted from around the map and breaking those to get my builds back. And hey, if you want to take advantage of that glitch, go ahead and... Uh, trigger some encampments for traps or or use the supply crates to get more loot or you know you search a chest and try to find some traps because you can bring all that back to your storm shield and get it um and get all of the resources back instead of recycling on the spot i would personally suggest holding out maybe for like ceiling gas traps or healing pads because these give you a high return in fiber serbs or wooden floor spikes will give you or duct tape uh, furthermore on the gas traps you actually also get bacon and maybe oxidized depending on the trap level i don't know how many five star gas traps you'll be finding out and about but if you do find any be sure to bring it back to your storage However, in the in this case, the reason I'm actually re-recording this is I found this to be useful for another reason. Uh, I'm gonna there you go. So I actually keep all my surplus traps in storage. I try to only keep about a stack of gas traps on me at any time. Anybody who's watched my stream knows that it has basically become a compulsion of mine to loot fiber serbs. So I have a lot of gas traps. But what I also have a lot of are wall darts because I maxed out the perks on this thing long ago and I still had a pre-crafted stack of all blue perks. So I haven't been able to use my better trap simply because I just had a whole bunch of 106s that I wanted to get through. And if you've been pay atten paying attention so far, you could probably see where this is going. If you guys have any traps that are outdated or something that you don't really intend to use anymore... <laughs> All right, that was close. <laughs> if you have any traps that are outdated that you don't intend to use anymore, you can just go in, slap down all of them into your into your storm shield, place them on every single wall, and then you will get 100 resources, 100% of the resources back. I don't know if Epic meant for you to get 100 back because this is a massive massive exploit in terms of just converting because all of these traps that I've pre-crafted that I am never going to use because I've got a better version of them I can just I can just slap them down in my storm shield and as for traps that you looted I feel like there are a couple of easy solutions to this first and foremost give your make it so that the players can get resources back for their traps but maybe never 100% Perhaps a full durability okay. Perhaps a full durability trap should only at maximum give you 90% or you know a certain amount of randomized. Uh, you know I forgot that you could place a trap on the wall automatically. My bad, you guys. Look, look at that. Maybe only give you 90 or 80% so that you're never getting a 100% return. Or or just buff recycling so you get 100% of your traps back. I feel like that would make sense. I, I feel like that would make sense and it would be fair. Um, like, if you go to recycle a trap that you just crafted and it has never been fired, it is 100% durability, if you were able to get your own builds back with a 100% return, it would make this entire exploit not necessary because it's a little clunky and I will not lie to you, I feel rather weird going into my storage, spamming all these down and then just... Because that's what you can do. You can pre-craft like I did, just a stack of ceiling zampers. And then I can use these throughout my missions or whatever. And then someday, if I come back and I make all the perks gold, I can just place down all my 106s and just upgrade it that way. But, I don't know. You guys can use your imagination with what you want to do with this glitch. I can link a video down below of me experiencing this glitch for the first time, although I've just basically told you all the information. And if you're curious what happened with my Twine defense here, uh, I did finish Twine 10 and 9, so I'll link those down below if you guys want to watch some hardcore carnage. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, take it easy.